Hey, what's going on? Dan here from Nine Balls, and today I'm going to review the Flying Bat. So with Halloween coming up, I thought I'd review uh, a Halloween product. So this is the Flying Bat for ages 4 and up. Uh, battery operated. Basically what this is, I'll just show you in the back, is you attach it uh, to the ceiling. And, you know, you even screw it in the ceiling if you want. And there's a string that hangs down the bat will spin around in circles, flaps, it, flaps its wings, flies around, suspend, uh, suspended continuous flying action, calming and soothing movement. Uh, uses two AA batteries, not included. And I'm just gonna open it up here and see if you know it actually works. So look at this, here's the bat. Um, definitely no one's gonna mistake, I mean maybe in the dark, no one's gonna mis mistake this for an actual bat. One thing right off the bat, it is kind of heavy, so you definitely don't want, you know, this to hit anybody when it's spinning around, because um, it, it is heavy. And here is the hanger, and you have your screws right here. So it's just a plastic little thing you can screw in the ceiling. I'm gonna try to just kind of hang it, suspend it with the string, see if that works. But let's put batteries in, suspend, suspend it from the ceiling, and see if this thing actually is worth purchasing. All right, so here we go. Here's the bat, and I'm gonna turn it on. And it's just hanging from a light here. Hopefully it won't fall off, but let's try it out. Here we go. And its eyes light up, as you can see. Let's see if we can get it going. It just, it looks like a dead bird or something. Uh, let's see if we can get it going. Here we go. Let me try holding it. I'm gonna hold. Maybe it's the. Uh... See if I can get it going just by holding it. Maybe it's it has to be held from the center. Here we go. So it kind of moves. All right, so let's see if we can get this thing spinning. I uh, read the directions and I'm doing exactly what you should be doing. For those of you who have, that have used one of these bats before, let me know if you need to get it going. I'm just gonna kind of spin it around and then attach it to the ceiling like you would if it was screwed in. Well, there we go, now it's moving a little bit. All right, so do I recommend the flying bat here? The answer is uh, kind of on the fence. Like, it does fly a little bit. You know, it's more about like just bouncing, and uh, but it doesn't necessarily fly in a circle like I was expecting. Um, so yeah, I think if you can get it for like $10 or less, I would recommend this, but other, you know, because it is kind of cool looking, the, the, the wings do flap, you know, in a dark, you know, I would, you know, the dark like uh, hallway or something. This would be kind of scary, I guess. Um, so yeah, kind of on the fence. I guess the, if the price is right, go for it. Uh, you know, if not, I'm sure there's better Halloween decorations out there. So thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, please subscribe. If you want to support them, go to Patreon.com/slash Nine Malls.